and rarely will we ever have two feet on the biceps. This is easy. Pick a pass. Grab this ball fight. Yeah, go. Oh, it makes it easy for him to pass when we do that. So, but we are trying to tangle him up, and sometimes we'll lasso the foot. And a lot of times, when we have the one foot on the bicep, he will start. He might grab my pant leg, but he might start to walk to that side. This is a very common, common thing. Here's what I want you to do. This is Korean style. This is one of my favorite things that he does. And uh, for those that don't know, I'm a big fan of his. Um, he's in my top five favorite uh, competition grapplers. I want to, from here, grab Christian's elbow. Boom, pop his arm out. Boom, right here. I have the arm under my armpit, though. All right, so it's not here. It's staying under my armpit, which is going to make it even tighter. All right, and this right now is for the group that'll be down there. Good, so again, we're working spider guard. We might even work a daily hip. We might be all over the place, but at this point we have grips on both sleeves. I get the foot on the bicep. He starts to walk to one side, good. Typically, I want to just grab my pant leg for now. Doesn't matter where he has it, that's fine. Good, I'm gonna grab at the elbow, pop it, and now it's naturally under my armpit, right? Good, my foot doesn't have to leave his bicep to finish this, all right? You can see we get a little bit of burden to the finish, and that's fine, boom. Anybody have questions on that so far? And we're gonna do the same thing. We'll go to on the products from the same, off of the same setup. But for now, you guys down there, that's what you're doing.